Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to officially the first episode of Mass Debaters. My name is DeAndre Robinson. These are my friends. Say hello, friends. Good evening, world. My name is Evan Hamataki, a.k.a. Macaroni in a Pot. <laughs> this is your boy CJ, a.k.a. Ice Cream, because I'm melting over here. <laughs> hey, friends. It's Cam. I am the baked mac and cheese of the team. <laughs> This is Max Debaters, the show of community debates. We'll be debating some uh, of the most unlikely of topics, just like the three topics we have today. Actually, there's two topics. One, which is we're going to have a, just good, a good, good conversation. With, with that being said, we do want to say for uh, everybody at Max Debaters, on behalf of everybody at Max Debaters, uh, we want to give our hopes, um, prayers, and wishes to Jacob Blake, the young man that got shot seven times in his back in front of his kids. Uh, in Wisconsin. Um, also, with that being said, shout out to all the sports team in the NBA for all the protests that they're doing. Everybody that's protesting as well. Uh, we appreciate it and we thank you. Um, also, another thing we want to say is we wish everyone the best that had to deal with uh, Hurricane Laura. Um, please be safe. This is supposed to be a, a really, really bad one. So really, really please, please be safe. All right. With that being said, question number one. All right, so we, we all are Wayne Brothers fans, so this is literally the best Wayne Brothers movie. It can be from the the main four brothers, okay? And so I know she did have a lot more bro like a lot more kids, uh, but those are the four. Uh, those are the four uh, popular. All right, first person's first is uh, Cam. So being that I'm first, I do want to take my little time to one say. Kyle Rittenhouse, you're a murderer, and your mom is an accessory, and I hope she goes down with you. Alrighty, my honorable mention for the best Wayne's movie is obviously Scary Movie, because why? Like, Scary Movie is hilarious. <laughs> like, so, there's that. My choice is another great comedy, White Chicks. And it's, it's a staple movie. Like, I almost feel like I don't have to defend White Chicks, it's hilarious. And it's one of the times where their comedy was actually spot on and not like too much or too cheesy or like, it was really good. Um, I'm like, there's not much I have to say. You want to talk about mothers. DeAndre, <laughs> with, with all due respect, the movie is, is called White Chicks. I am a half white-ish man. I would like to go first. Oh, oh first, go ahead. Okay. Oh, don't um, forget the dance battles. Now go. <laughs> I, I'm. I, this is my one of the episode. This is the uh, fantastic fucking pick. This movie's fucking great. This movie is fantastic. Um, from from everything about when when they first get into costume, you know that they open the door and the dude said, "Where the white women at?" You know, and then they're getting their prosthetics put on. They get some fake titties put on. And then they pull up to the country club and dude's like, "They're talking shit." He's like, "Hey, hold my poodle. Hold my poodle, dog." I was like, this shit's so funny. I thought my sister going to handle mine. <laughs> right. And then not to mention this, even though it didn't introduce the world to him, this brought the world Terry Crews. Oh, my God. That movie's so good. I, lo I love this movie. It, it's Terry got Crews, when he's on the dance floor. Uh-huh. That's a big-ass <laughs> robot. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, so with that being said, this is this is arguably, in my opinion, this is my favorite Wayans Brothers movie. Um I I really enjoy it. It's very quotable lines. Um, it's it's just got great, great moments in it. And Cam, thank you for choosing this because I know DeAndre wasn't going to because you'll see DeAndre fucking can't stand this movie. So <laughs> with that being said, DeAndre. Yes, it was on me. Uh so Okay, damn. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, definitely on me. Uh, All right, go ahead. So light him up. So here, here, here thing. I want to talk about what, what, what Evan said first. This is not when Terry Crew first came out at all. We didn't no, say that. No, no. He, said he was in the, I said, it's, said it may not have been the first time you've been introduced to him, but this was when people really started taking a notice to Terry Crews. Maybe not are you, necessarily. Are you people, sure? Maybe not no, necessarily. Yeah. Nope. Because, 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 he was in, he was in Everybody Hates Chris. You are one hundred percent right. No, 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 no. And, and Everybody Hates Chris came after after this. Was it after? So, okay. Yeah. So, however, before this though, was next Friday at the next. Mm -hmm. He was Damien and Friday at the next, and and that's when everybody. Well, I'm not I'm sure everybody, but most black people remember from Friday at the next. Black so, people ain't all people. Yeah. 
So I'm just saying, I know, I, I, I noticed. I, I wasn't going to go there and say this. This is when, okay, you're right. This is when the the white audience was really introduced to Terry <laughs> Crews. He it piggybacked his career to higher heights than he'd ever seen before. He was in fucking, uh, he was in the longest yard after this. He was in Everybody Hates Chris, where he was arguably the best part of that show. Then all of a sudden he's on Brooklyn Nine-Nine, which is one of the most successful sitcoms on TV at the moment. Don't forget Expendables. Exactly. But he, his, his role in Expendables, he was the background character in Expendables. He's, so. still, he's background character in, in Longest Yard, too. Yeah, but he, he stole the scenes in the Longest Yard when he was on screen. I got no, the dude, shakes that'll make it quick. Wow. I got the fries that'll cross your eyes. I got the burgers. I just got burgers. <laughs> 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 cheeseburger Eddie stole that shit. But anyways, but, uh, go ahead, Deandre. Sorry. So, so Every the, person needs Cheeseburger Eddie, I'm just saying. That, that, <laughs> that, wasn't, my, that wasn't my favorite. Uh, yeah. Terry Crews moment, I and mean, it's the first time I see Craig, 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 Terry Crews was in Friday the Next. Uh, I'm weird. I, I will say that. I'm fucking weird. I hate this fucking movie with a fucking passion. Not, not, not because they're in white face. I care less what they're in white face. I hate the movie because it's not funny to me. It, it's really not. Uh, the, the, the only memorable moment is like it introduced me to that song. Making my way downtown. Walking, Walking fast, faces pass. That's the only. Night. The movie the, also proved that people gonna... say the n word when they think no one is around. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's true. However, however, that's the only th- that I mean that introduced me to that song. However, the movie wasn't fun. It wasn't funny to me at all. Like, like it was really boring to me. Period. So you telling me that when he says I'm gonna go get you some help, you need professional help because she's going crazy in the dressing room, and he goes. <laughs> Like nobody, like you, like all of the. It's, I feel like it's all of the smaller underlying, like fly, almost like fly under the radar jokes when, that end up being. Terry Crews like you mean to funny. you you mean to tell me you're not? Yes, I'm not a woman. White. <laughs> I don't know if that was one of the underlying jokes. Oh no, it, it wasn't. Like, it wasn't. That was but straight that's, but yeah. I'm, I'm just saying it's it's the it's like the random out of nowhere fucking jokes. Like, I didn't expect that chick to be like, your lips went from Beyonce to Jay-Z. I was like, oh, shit. You telling me when they having a, they sitting there roasting those white girls, and he goes and blows beer powder out of that fucking, that wasn't That wasn't the too. first time I saw that, that her, her thing. That wasn't the first time I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, CJ. It's on you. Yeah. All right. You're wrong. I think this movie is, like, all right. Uh, it's more stupid than funny. Uh, there's, you know, there's a lot of jokes that, like, you know, if they actually had set up the joke, would have landed and would have been cool. But like, you know, they didn't even set up the joke; they just threw some shit out there. Like the fucking dog, like the fucking dog hanging out the window of the beginning of the movie. That wasn't funny at all. That was just dumb. It's like I think that was supposed to be funny. I think that was supposed it, to be. Yeah. Funny. Yeah. Was yeah no, it was, it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be a joke that they. It was a joke that they never really set up. It was just out there. You know, and then you know, and the last parts didn't make. Last parts didn't make sense at all. And the whole fucking yeah, the whole fucking using the fucking FBI fucking. uh Oh yeah, the old FBI fucking makeup department fucking do this shit. Like, okay, that that to me was just a little over the top. Cause yeah, cause no, cause one, they're supposed to go. No, they're supposed to be doing this under the radar without the help of the FBI, you know, without the FBI knowing. Yeah, they're gonna use the whole fucking uh, makeup department fucking do this shit. Like, no fucking way. You know, but. That's not really my gripe with this fucking movie. My gripe mm-hmm. with this movie is this movie starts starts teaching uh, white people it's okay to say the n word when no one else around. You said it, you said n word like ain't nobody they, around. They As the Wayne people. brothers being black people, they were saying it's okay for the white people to say it as long as nobody's around. DJ, you you've been in the military, you know what a covert op is, bro. You're not supposed to blow your cover, so they're supposed to be white women. So if, mm. if something happens that a white woman Look, does that, that no. is a regularly racist, it's I, no, whoa, 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 no, 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 no. no, 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 no if you guys paid in the movie, oh, okay. in the movie, none of the other girls said it. They said it. I was going undercover. It was within the first twenty-four hours. I will probably let the N-word slip one time because I forget. You got to fucking cover it. No, <laughs> no. What we're talking about, what we're talking about is the movie. The fact that they, they had this in the movie is what pissed me off. They didn't have to it's do any of that. The whole movie's racist. They didn't what have to do any about? of that. Point blank said it was okay to say N word as long as nobody else was around. They point blank said that. They did say it though. They, that pissed. Yeah, that pissed y'all. No, well, no matter what, there's no argument against that. They said it. Hmm. I mean, like, I think no. it's more of just pointing to the fact that we. I think it already happens. It does happen. Doesn't make it right. So, so they're saying it's okay. So, so here's the thing, mate. As a, as a black person, you can't be like you just fuck to say no, 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 no white person say the N word. 
we, we know they say the N-word. I mean, I, it's listen, part of the N-word. So listen, don't allow them to say it. They actually allowed them to say it. Okay? Yeah. So, so, so yeah, they, said yeah, first, they said it first. They said it first. They said it first. And then they said, oh, you know, you know y'all said, come on, you, 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 can, do, you can do it. Like, they allowed them to do it with them. Like, like, if all that, if, 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 if you know they're not going to say it, then you don't say either. And then and call it a day. You don't have, you have, you have to uh, invite them to do it. That's all I'm going to say. All right. Yeah. That being, <laughs> all right. With that being said, uh, uh, CJ actually is on you. This is a, a low down, dirty shame. Yeah. That is a fucking amazing, you know, a little grimy, but a fucking great fucking Wayne's Brothers movie. Uh, it's cause to me it's like I love cause it's not like you no know, just straight straight up like all comedy. I'm just we're just out here just trying to make you laugh. Like no, this is an actual movie, an actual all around movie. It's got great comedy. You know, it also has action and a love triangle. It's oh yeah, it's just yeah, it's fucking uh, you know, and it's more com- it's more complete movie. Yeah. Uh, is yeah. It's also spawned like one of my favorite fucking one-liners. Fucking uh, blinking black will be the last thing you see. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking amazing to me. And the character development is fucking amazing. You actually, you know, yeah, they actually build up the characters, give great backstory. Uh, you know what? What's going on? He's he's a follow storyline. Is oh, uh, I just think it's just all around great. All right, uh, I'm gonna go first. Um, a low down, dirty shame is my third favorite Wayne Brothers of all time. I mean, movie of all time. It is. I love this fucking movie, man. This movie is fantastic. Uh, like I said, the, 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 there's more one-liners in this uh, and more, a lot more funnier scenes. Um, I, I, was, oh, yeah. I, I told you I'll oh, kick yeah. you where you stand. Um, yeah. Hey, hey, bro, she crazy about you. Like, all that kind of good stuff. <laughs> uh, Chad! Chad and he punched the ball in the face. Oh my god! And he punched the ball in the face. Listen, listen. Uh, a low down to the shame is fucking amazing. Poor Chad. Uh, there, there are there are some things that are bad about the movie though. Um, one, uh, I mean, it didn't happen back then, but you know, Jade is in this movie. Jada Smith, Jada Pinkett Smith is in the movie. Uh, I mean, it's, still, the <laughs> it's before the Smith though. It's just Jada Pinkett. <laughs> Jay Pickle was in the movie. She was, mm-hmm, yeah, she was, mm-hmm. she, she was practicing entanglements. The only, the, only, the, only, the only bad thing about this is, uh, the second thing is, this is a fake shaft. It is. Uh, shaft? It is, it is a, it's a fake shaft. <laughs> I, 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 will, I will give that. I love shaft too. Uh, however, this is a fake shaft. However, if I had to choose between shaft and this, I, I'm not going to lie people hate me this, but I will pick this in a heartbeat. Uh, but it is, but shaft came out, shaft came out first. Uh, and this, and this, we got the idea from uh, <clears throat> movies like this. It's not even, I, I don't think. And like I said, it's my third favorite one. And I'm gonna get you suckers right up there with it as well. Like like those kind of movies that uh, the Wayne, Wayne Brothers did. I'm gonna get you suckers like right. right yep, my top there. five. Yeah. So so yeah, uh, I love this movie. Uh, like I said, my third favorite movie, Wayne Brothers movie of all time. Uh, I love the pick, but those couple things is just what I have to say about it. Uh, Evans on you. Uh, first things first, shout out to fucking Keenan Ivory Wayans for both writing and directing and starring in this movie. It's it's not as often nowadays that you see someone do all of it, writing, directing, and starring in the movie. Um, he, he did it twice. He, he did it, I'm gonna get you sucker. I know, but oh. it, you, what I'm saying is he's an yeah. ultimately talented person. Yeah, um, that's that being good. said, with that being said, I wasn't a fan of this movie. Um, I'm actually the opposite way. I've seen Shaft. I've seen this. I preferred Shaft. I just, I, I don't know. It's just maybe maybe I'm out of touch with it because, let's be honest, I'm, I'm a white yeah, person yeah. and I don't understand certain certain things. And, you know, and like, like, like DeAndre said, I find it very hilarious that it's the month of August and we're talking about Jada. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Ooh, that is nothing great. better than some moments in August. <laughs> Hey, hey. Uh, y- um, with, 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 with that being said, I love you. With that being said, um, the only the only gripe I really have is that I'm, um, uh, for me personally, um, Keaton and Ivory Wayans isn't my favorite of the brothers acting wise. Um, I I think there are you know the other three brothers mainly are just in my opinion better actors. But like I said, I'm not going to discredit. 
Keenan Ivory because of he's just he's the all around man when it comes to you know being a, a, a multi tool player in the in the cinematography business. So, so um, I, with that being said, it, go ahead. So I do I do I do agree with you with that. I, I do think the other three brothers are better actors. However, Keenan made the way for all three of those brothers though. Like it wasn't for, it wasn't it oh, was for absolutely, Keenan, absolutely. Went, they wouldn't be there. Also, uh, side note, I should have said this too. Uh, I think Keenan Keenan got that Benjamin Button disease. And I, 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 told, <laughs> I, I told I told Candace in, in, in the past episode of the, the top uh top ten black black uh maybe shows. Like like he ages like backwards. Like like and No, I'm like, it's money. And, <laughs> I, I'm saying <laughs> You're probably right though, because I'm gonna get you sucker. He look old as a motherfucker, and 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 in uh uh a living color, he looked younger, but he still old and motherfucker. And what's that dirty shame? This guy look young as hell. <laughs> guy look young as a mother- like he look. He sh- he shaved his hair bald. He got the little goatee. I was like, damn, he look like thirty. <laughs> he was looking kind of good. Man. Yeah, actually, he got younger in the movie. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. After yeah, after you clean yourself up, he looked ten years younger. <laughs> Yeah, well, he was looking like a bum in the beginning, so. All right. All right, Cam's on you. Uh, So I should have said this before my turn, but I do want to say shout out to the Waynes really being the real-life Kardashians. Um, And somehow the Kardashians got the respect that they should actually be getting for being a family that knows how to, is just like completely talented all around and knows how to make money in absolutely every fucking way possible. The Waynes are so fucking dope. Kylie, if you're okay. watching this, what's up? How you doing? If Kylie's watching this, bitch, fuck you. Like, I can't stand your ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, out of all of them, she irks my soul the most. So the, oh, I get it. Me. I understand why. Oh, hater. Hey, shit. You know what? Just to make no, him happy. Just to make him happy. Hey, Kendall, if you're out there. That seems cool. I, I ain't got nothing yeah. against Kendall. Literally, I don't have any, again, anything against any all, any of them except for Kylie. She irks my fucking soul. Kim's kind of annoying, but Kylie's real. <laughs> It was just Kylie's an annoying the one crier. That my buttons. All right, so as far as the low down dirty shame, I watched it today. <laughs> it was a good movie. Like, you can see that it was kind of like the early Wayne's projects. It had a lot of continuity issues. It had a lot of acting issues. Uh, it had a lot of editing issues. It was cool for what it was, but it was really rough around the edges overall for a movie even for that time frame um with that being said obviously this is one of the movies that like really launched jada that red outfit that she wears when she's on rodeo becomes like super iconic this this character for her becomes super iconic um she ends up being a thought anyway so shout out to you jada do what you gotta do boo <laughs> it's a woman's world nowadays entanglements <laughs> with august entanglements with august I definitely think it was a really great movie. It just definitely isn't my top three. Okay. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. and we even have a yeah. We started the Bears drinking game. Oh yeah, yeah. Every time fucking uh, Cam says fucking iconic, I take a shot. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be drunk as fuck. I like that. Word. <laughs> hey, Andre, quick question for you: Did um did any of did the Wayans Brothers TV show make your guys' list of the top twenty five black sitcoms? Or black TV shows? Well, yeah, they, uh, uh, Living mm-hmm. Color did. Well, I'm talking yeah, about the just Wayne's the Wayne Brothers, Brothers show. Oh, no, and, 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 oh, Brothers. The Wayne's came in six. Sorry, it came in six. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I just, okay, came I, I didn't, I didn't remember if I had seen that name or not on that list or it, if, it, where it, 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 it came in six. Okay, because right. that was that was actually where I first saw the Wayne's Brothers. Oh yeah, was in the show. So okay, they did that show dirty as hell. They did. Rest in peace to Pops. Rest in peace to Pops number one. But they, 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 didn't, they didn't give them an ending. Fuck that. Oh, goddamn. Yeah. Don't, don't, go, don't, don't go right no, down the no, road. No, they, no, no. They usually tell us, they usually tell a show, okay, yeah, we're not, you got know, we these many episodes left. A lot of shows end up having that same problem, if you mm-hmm. notice. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But, all right. All right. Uh, so it's on me. Um, as, as my honorable mentions. All right. <laughs> First thing first, y'all not gonna disrespect Blake Man. <laughs> Blake Man is, is amazing. One of my favorite video, uh, uh, superhero movies of all time. <laughs> uh, shout out to one of the saddest death scenes in J5. Uh, that, 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 um, yeah, that J5 dying is, 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 is sad as so. hell. All right, so. He's sadder than Dobby. No, hell no. But it's still sad, though. Oh, funny. Um, uh, yeah. 
that's, that's super that scary. is arguably my my pick for worst death on scene. I don't know. Cause, Oof, anyways, because because Ricky, Ricky uh, from Boys in the Hood, oh, man, bomb and weave, Ricky. Uh, still, it's the so, same. It's the same thing with yeah. <laughs> you a football player. I, I don't see how he didn't like right? through the bushes. Bro, bro. it's the same. Why are you running straight? It's the same thing. thing. That's your job is to fucking dodge It's the same shit. thing like, with Rick on start from Game of Thrones, dude. You ran in a straight line. Fucking serpentine. He was a Rickon. kid though. Uh, number three, since Cam took Scare Movie One, I'm gonna say Scare Movie Two was, uh, should be up there. Scare Movie Two is hilarious. Take my good hand. <laughs> Take my strong hand. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> commercial, that commercial, the basketball commercial was in there. Douche, douche, douche. 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 Well, the dude with the fucking wheelchair <laughs> did it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, break this and let's hear it. Or when fucking, when he's getting head from the demon chick at the end, she got a paper mm. bag on. <laughs> number number two I'll mention is uh, Mo Money. More money is in, more no, money. Like, more money. Don't know. Not know what, 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 like, watch more money. More money was amazing. All right, is the first time you ever seen uh, 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 Marlon Wayans in a movie, and he killed Mo. He could. He killed more money. He was hilarious in more money. Uh, number one, I would mention. Um, a lot of people seen too. This is the first movie that ever made me cry. I, I would say that I was nine years old when I first saw this movie, and movie made me cry. This is called The Sixth Man. Uh, Marlon Wayne was uh and uh I got the guy from uh from um Living Color, the Wayne Wing glasses. Um Dwayne? Yeah, Marlon Wayne and Dwayne Wayne and Dwayne was uh was uh brothers and they went to the same college, but Dwayne died brothers. and came back to uh and came back as a ghost and helped him win the championship. But he had to go back to heaven and it made me it made me sad. Uh listen, it made me, it made me cry, I'm not gonna lie. I was I was nine years old, that shit hit, hit the heart. You, you, your first movie that made you cry it was, was Mo Money. No, the you six didn't man. cry. Lion King. Oh, the six man. The six man. The six man. I mean, the six man. You didn't nah, cry. Nah, fuck Mufasa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't you disrespect Mufasa? Hey, don't, don't Mufasa should have been smarter than that shit. He knew Scar was a bitch. No, no, no. That's still don't, family, don't, though. Don't, 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 I'm sorry. That's right here. If my this right here is the reason why we can't record in the same room. No, no, no. I'm sorry. But if Milo would ever would have dropped right there. Listen, <laughs> you can sit there and say, that's family. You got to blah, blah, blah. If my if my crack head abusive ass uncle showed up at my door right now, I'll put him in the ground. I don't give a that's fuck. That's not the same situation. Oh, yeah, it, don't it, make it seem like he just showed up at your scar. Hey, he was hanging off a cliff. Scar, scar, scar is that uncle, man. No, 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 no. The, the only thing you knew about Scar was that he was that he was like a little bit sassy. slimy, a little sassy and slimy a little bit. Because you you had one conversation with, with with Mufasa and one conversation with Simba. That's all you saw was from that. All you seen. You didn't know how bad Scar was. Grimy. You, yeah. tell. you didn't think he was like you know. You didn't think he was his own brother, he but you knew he was a little grimy. Yeah. He all right. knows. So so my my pick is I'm a, I'm gonna try to say this long ass <laughs> long ass title. My pick is. Don't be a menace to South Central while drinking your juice in the hood. There you go. I, I, right. I lost money because I was a bet. I was bet for real. You would have got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good. So this movie is fucking fantastic. This is my favorite parody movie of all time. I know I said scary movie too. I would mention, but the parody, uh, like parody movies. This is fucking amazing. This has every last single hood movies in ninety in this. And it's just fucking great. It's so fucking funny. Little page that said, uh, a, a, uh, some people will, will die from this from a movie, watching the movie. To the end, when you see where, so you see where what they did when Marlon Wayans came, became a Def Jam actor and the one boy, the one sellout boy with the, with the, with the, with the white girlfriend uh, uh, had, was fucking her in the, uh, <laughs> was fucking in the trailer park. <laughs> uh, uh, to Crazy Ladies being a dancer. No, so yo, this movie is fucking hilarious. It, 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 it's not, it wasn't for to get an Oscar. It wasn't for, it wasn't for like good acting. This was just to, to make you laugh, period. All right. One of my favorite scenes in this movie is she said, yeah, I write poetry. She said, you write poetry? We've seen poetry. said, love is like a fresh flower. She said, love me and leave me. That's the story of my life. But ain't gonna happen again. See, see, I got a chainsaw. <laughs> so I'm gonna cuff his dick. Since I got a butcher, I'm gonna cuff his dick. I'm gonna cuff his balls. <laughs> I was like, what? And then, <laughs> and then the next scene, he tried to fuck. He said, he tried to fuck her. He had two pumps. He said, she said, talk dirty. He said, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> not funny. <laughs> <laughs> 
No woman, no woman finds that scene funny. <laughs> I'm not a girl, but this shit was hilarious. This <laughs> shit was funny as shit. Every, every, time I see that, every time I see that scene, I, I, just, I, I start crying. That shit's hilarious. However, like I said, my favorite uh, Wayne's Brother movies is Don't Be Missed or something like you could. Actually, like I said, a lot of my favorites are stuff on my wall. It's right there. Like, right there. You were, you referred to to this movie in a lot of other old videos. Oh, uh, so. yeah. All right. Ooh. All right. Can I go? All right. Go ahead. Go ahead, CJ. Yeah, the movie's dumb as fuck. <laughs> this shit was fucking stupid. Now, don't get me wrong. Now, if you just got finished watching a drama you know, or a horror movie, then you watch this. Oh, yeah, this shit's fucking hilarious. But if you watch a comedy, a regular comedy, and then watch this, eh. Uh, yeah, it's kind of, it's just, eh. No. And like, I said, and some parts where I should just kind of, it's kind of sad. They just, just tried way too hard. You know, way too hard to show you funny. You know, it was, no. That's exactly what parody movies are, though. Yeah, so, 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 so. You know, I understand, no, I understand putting them together, but like, no, I, no, I could Dude, I watched this after watching White Chicks, so, and like, I was like severely disappointed. It was just, you know, and then there's so many different parts in there that was just like, so a lot of shit going random on at once. Yeah, you know, just so random and unnecessary. I had nothing, I had nothing to do with anything. Uh, honestly, to me, the best part of the movie was the poem. That was, yeah, that was it. That was the part that made me laugh the fucking hardest throughout the whole movie. So I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask all three of you this question after y'all say yeah. that thing. But I wanna ask, I'm gonna ask you CJ first and see one first. CJ, what is your favorite parody movie? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I never, I, I never like sit down and think about it. Okay. You can't ask me shit off the top of my head. Okay. I'll be thinking like that. <laughs> All right, uh, Evans on you. So, this is a funny movie. Um, regardless of what CJ says, I, I enjoy this movie. I've only seen it a handful of times. But it stands out to me. as It's one of the more quotable like parody movies that's out there. My favorite scene is when uh, he's eating cereal. And you see on a box of tricks, you see a naked woman. <laughs> And then he's got a box of Wheaties. <laughs> it's got Dr. Dre on it. Oh, my God. Man. Um, no, this is – it has so many good quotes. I pulled up a list of quotes because I didn't remember them off the top of my head, but I, I just want to say a couple that stuck out to me. Uh, Dashiki, which he's like, my name is Dashiki. That's Swahili for doggy style. <laughs> what? I was like, I don't speak Swahili, but I'm pretty sure that's not what it means. Um, the fucking – oh, God. When Lok Dog was like – um, fuck, she's got so many kids. She got more kids than Miss Wayans. I was like, uh, yeah, damn. I was that like, was I know easy. you're joking around, but you throw her mom under the bus like that. Oh, oh, um, oh. And then, um, oh, wait, 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 before you go, uh, shout out to their mom. I know their the mom just passed this year. So, uh, oh, for our, real? Our, our yeah, our, our oh, RPT mom, yeah. Oh, yeah. and then. My, my, oh, rest in peace, man. Mm -hmm. my favorite quote of the entire movie, I won't say the N-word that's in it, but the, because the N-word's in it, where he's like, name, no dog, baby. Height, six deuce. Age, 19. Father's name, mm. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> right. <laughs> sex, sex, hell, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then he's like, salary desire, $3 million. Cash. <laughs> so, 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 I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I have that shirt. <laughs> I have that shirt in my in my, uh, in my closet. I do. I have that shirt. For those of you who don't know exactly how serious DeAndre is about this movie, look over his shoulder and you see a poster of "Don't Be a Menace in South or to South Central while drinking your juice in the hood" on his wall. So, so I know Cam said Cam's next, but I know Cam said that the Wayne's like the modern, like the Wayne's is like the Kardashians. I don't know if they like the Kardashians. I, I like I like to compare them to the Jacksons actually. Like the, 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 they're, they're like the 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 successful Jacksons. The, 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 I wasn't comparing them. When I said that, I, what I meant was for what they can do and what they've done and how talented they are as a family, mm -hmm. I feel like the Kardashians and the Wayne should be swapped. Mm -hmm. Like the Wayne should be where the Kardashians are as far as fame and fortune and everything mm -hmm. that they have because of everything that they've done. Kardashians are bootlickers. But anyway, that's not the point <laughs> that we're talking about. All right, <laughs> Cam, Cam's on you. 
Um, so I watched Don't Be a Menace, which I haven't seen in forever, but I knew was going to be DeAndre's pick. Um, it's a lot, man. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. The one thing that I've been quoting from this movie for years is something very small, but I use it actually quite often. Message. It's something that I do all of the time. <laughs> With that being said, that's a minor thing as far as for in the movie. Overall, as far as for a parody movie, it's re- it's funny. It's, it can be a lot. It can be a lot. <laughs> like They were like, oh, where's the line? And then let's go six miles past that <laughs> like, as far as for <laughs> what we probably should be doing. Um, but in the, it wasn't inaccurate it was kind of to the point where it was like, that's fucked up. Like, he was like, ooh, what outfit should I wear? This gap with these sneakers or this mm-hmm. Uzi with these socks? And he's like, never mind. I'm just going to wear these. The bunny slippers. Fucking, <laughs> bunny slippers. I was like, or when he was at a party, he was like, ooh, I'm forcing out for my dead homies. And he just reaches his hand over the fence and there's supposed to be, th- there's three people on the fucking floor. Yeah. And I'm assuming they're supposed to be the dead homies. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, yeah. That yeah. But the demon sex in the back of the postal truck that was, was hilarious. Like, that just was said, funny. Oh no, motherfucker, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that scene where you were telling me where he's like, where he's like, oh, this guy with these sneakers that reminded me, like, even though it's completely off base, that reminded me of um, fucking Malibu's Most Wanted, where Tate Diggs' character is uh, trying out all the fucking gadgets. She's like, click the gat together, give me a bitch. It just reminded me of that shit so much when I watched that. <laughs> That's, uh, that's another movie that's so bad that it's good. My it's so bad, it's, yes. oh it's so bad that it's good. Oh my god! Yeah, it's so so bad that it's good. Bill Gluckman is down with the bitches and hoes. That being said, Evans on you. Uh, real quick, I did want to say it's not an honorable mention, but the the thing that was funniest to me is that "Don't Be a Menace to South Central" or "Drinking Juice in the Hood." Um, actually, is a is parodies on one of my favorite hood movies of all time, "Menace to Society." So why, why you quote that? Yeah, because I'm I'm a white person watching a hood movie. It's like people he can't quantify something as hood. We gotta quantify something as hood, and he can agree. He can't start calling shit hood and ghetto. He will get hurt. <laughs> anyway, he right. No, I'm right. Himself, okay. Anyway, no, I, I watched. Look, that's a shield right there. <laughs> I got four honorable mentions as well, and I'm gonna stick with the theme of parody movies here. Okay. Shout out to Haunted House. Hey, Haunted House is amazing. Haunted House. Uh, oh house my one God. was fucking amazing. That shit was hilarious. If, and shout out to Atheon <laughs> Crockett and that was like, bro, there's a ghost in there. I don't give a, a fuck. fuck. Tisha? <laughs> oh my God. Hey, Haunted House um, 1 was fucking. Hey, Haunted House 2 was. Uh, 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 Haunted House 1 was um, fucking great. When, when we fucked that teddy bear. <laughs> and then the dumbest fucking dance movie of all time, which is Dance Flick. Uh, see, I, I, I'll I'll with you until you. Until you it's so movie. it's so bad, but it has it has what, three of it has don't, what two don't. it has two of the brothers, and it's 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 directed by Damien, and then it's written by Keenan Ivory. It's just it's terrible, but it's it's up there. Anyways, with that being said, my well, my second favorite because my first white white chicks was taken. My second favorite Wayne's Brothers movie of all time is Major Pain. Um, and ever since I rewatched this movie, I just every time I see Major Payne, I just think of CJ's experience in the military. I was, <laughs> I was like, CJ, is this is this how it was? Is this is this for real? So he is I, bald. So right, no. So I, I like, I, I love this movie. It was it was one of the first movies I had saw um, where it was a military person who was black. Um, all the military movies I had seen before that, with the exception of, of Bubba Gump, um, were white. And so it was the first time I saw anybody of sort of prominence, because he was a major, uh, of African-American descent. So with that being said, um, this mo- my favorite scene in this movie is when he's reading a bedtime story to the kid. And it's about the dude, he's like, he gets his legs blown off and his little nubbies is kicking. <laughs> the little engine that could. <laughs> And then um, it's it's a it's a great movie. It's it's even though it seems like it's gonna be inappropriate, it's a very family friendly movie as well. Um, a lot of people come to expect inappropriateness when it comes to the Wayans brothers. There, a lot of their movies are racy. Whatever, they're funny as fuck. Who cares? Fucking grow a pair of balls. Um, but with that being okay. said, uh, well, Cam, 
<laughs> you're, you're lovely. Just don't ever change. Okay. With that being said, um, shout out to fucking Hillary Banks as well. Kathy Karen Parsons. Karen Parsons. Karen. Karen. Well, thank you. What's her, what's her name? Uh, she, she, will always, Hillary Banks. she will always be Hillary Banks. Just like, I don't care about, like, Tatiana Ali can grow up all she wants. She's always Ashley. So, so I'm not going to lie. Uh, her role in that movie, I, uh, listen, like, I, I was shocked because I always thought she was stupid. Like, it's like, she, no. I, was like I, was like, I was like, oh, shit. Like, shit, because she, she plays really? Hillary. You she, can read? Yeah. So yeah. All right. Uh, first person first is uh, Cam. Okay. Um, so yes. Shout out to Hillary Banks. Well, as far as for Major Pain, I love this movie. Major Pain is an iconic one that I got put onto because I didn't grow up on black films. I kind of came to black films after the fact because I grew up sheltered. Okay. This would have made the cut for a black American culture. Yeah. I, like that came into my life later in life. With that being said, Major Pain is definitely a classic. Like when he goes, there gotta be somebody that need killing. Like I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> but he says it like so innocently. I'm just like, oh, we gonna find you somebody to kill. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just like, the movie is really funny. Of course, like he said, it's one of the more family friendly ones. Um, what really got me when he was like, sympathy is something you find in the dictionary between shit and syphilis. <laughs> and I was just like, <laughs> I don't know why that one line, I was just like, how did I miss that before? <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, so good. But no, overall, really funny movie. And I just like that it proves the point that at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how tough you are. A woman is gonna be the one to break you. <laughs> so every single time. Yep. Uh, so You're I'm welcome. Go, I, I'm gonna go next. Um, Major Pain is amazing. It, it really is. Uh, it's a it's a great movie. Um, however, the the mid '90s to early '90s have a lot of uh, a lot of um, military movies. Funny. Not funny. Actually, the whole '90s actually had a bunch of military movies. Funny, not funny, comedy, dramas, horror, uh, and I feel like it was over. Like I feel like if it was, if this was an '80s or 2000 movie, it would have been much better. But no, let me phrase that. I've seen this movie in the '90s, obviously, but I've seen like a lot of movies like In the Army Now, Forrest Gump, Saving Pirate Ryan, and all kind of good shit. And I got tired of the, the military. Um, and that, that's the only thing that I can I can say about this. <laughs> can we shout out one of the most underrated military movies in In the Army now? And Dan Kelly. And in, in the Army now is amazing. Uh, no, in, in the Army now was fucking great. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Same and down, uh, down Periscope as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Oh, no, two two hilarious. of my favorite classic movies were in the army now and Down Periscope, and I tried to get Alexis yeah. to watch them recently. She loved Down Periscope. Shit, but... uh, uh, e- e- even uh, Hot Shots with uh, uh, Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen. Uh, uh, CJ's on you. CJ, real quick before you answer, I want to. I was looking at quotes on this because I was I was curious. Does this uh, did they, do they really say this in the military where he's like, boy, I have two seconds for being on you like white on rice and a glass of milk on a paper plate. Paper plate in a snowstorm. snowstorm. <laughs> I was like, I wonder if that gives CJ flashbacks. Well, no, but I have heard this one. You're one that should have been swallowed. Yeah. Oh, so, oh. Yeah. so yeah, so no, no, so no. That was the throat. level. Yeah, that'll tell you the level of. What's actually being said compared to what they're portraying? So no, no. So so I I I, I actually heard it before. I actually probably told, told a couple people that. So uh, the the shit from the eight mile, the shit from eight mile, the ugly motherfucker. Your pop should wear rubber. All, all, all that kind of good shit. <laughs> like like I, 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 said, I said I said shit like that. I, I I said I said wow, you you really not going? So you couldn't be in that sock that your your dad masturbated into. Like like, so, like, 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 shit like I, that. I have I have told someone I said you should have been on the load I left on your girlfriend's chest. Yeah, it was bad. Oh, I'm a dick. All right, CJ's on you. Wow, so I'm the only decent person on the show. Okay. Yeah, yes, you are. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, you are. Yeah, in the fact now that I know you're a Haitian, I don't know why that makes you sexier, but just saying. <laughs> oh, <'cause> <laughs> Caribbeans, Caribbeans know how to do it. it was- yeah, all right. Yeah, Adam, uh, 
my top five way, my top five way but movies is my number one. Yeah, this is actually my number one. I love this movie to death. I've seen it over, well over a hundred times. Uh, and I'm gonna give Evan his first fucking. I can't fuck with it. Hey. But yeah, yeah. This oh, this, hey. oh shit, I love this movie. Yeah. Oh, All right. All right. With that being said, that ends the question number one. <laughs>